Hey guys, my name is Breton. I use he, him pronouns, and I am the Young Adult Services Librarian at the Boyle County Public Library. Today, we have our next lesson in the Ukulele for You series, and so we're going to start with a review of what we've learned so far, including the parts of the instrument, the names of the strings, the chords that we've started to learn, and uh, we'll look at some of the chord progressions as well that we worked on last week. Today's lesson, we are going to look at some more musical notation on different exercises on chord progressions, and we are going to learn a new song. Here we have our ukulele with the headstock, tuning pegs, the strings, nut, the frets, fretboard, the neck, body, sound hole, saddle, and bridge. Our strings are tuned to the notes G, C, E, A. And an easy way to remember that is with the phrase, George Clooney eats apples. The strings are numbered one to four, this being one, two, three, and four. The frets are also numbered. This is the first fret, second fret, third fret, and so on and so forth. We know three chords so far. The first one is C, which is played with our ring finger on the third fret first string. We know F, which is first finger second string first fret, second finger fourth string second fret. And we know G7, which is first finger second string first fret, second finger, third string, second fret, third finger, first string, second fret. And remember, G7 wants to push us to the C chord. It kind of leans into that C chord. In our last lesson, we did some chord progressions, so I wanted to review those now. We, the first one that we did was going from C to F. So our first progression is going to be going from C to F. And what I would like to do is play a C chord for four beats and then F for four beats. So get that toe tapping, and we're going to do four beats on C, and then four beats on F, and go back and forth for a few bars. One, two, ready, go. Three, four. time. And stop. All right, the next chord progression I want us to do is from C to G7. And remember when we make this move, our ring finger only moves a little bit. He just scoots down one fret, and then we can place our other fingers in their position. Remember, our first finger goes on the second string, first fret. Second finger goes on the third string, second fret. And our ring finger is going to be on the first string, second fret, right underneath our middle finger. So start tapping that toe. We're going to go four beats on C, and then four beats on G7, and back and forth. All right. One, two, C, go. Two, three, four, two. Back to C. Just a little move. 
ring finger makes just a little move. Slide down. You're doing great. C to G7. Back to C. G7. time here. And stop. Perfect. And the last progression we learned was from F to G7. And we learned that our first finger acts as an anchor note, meaning it's the same for F as it is for G7. So it can just stay put. So let's practice going from F to G7. Four beats on F, four beats on G7. Start that toe. One, two, ready, F. Two, three, G7. Back to F, to G7. Back to F. You're doing great. This one is a lot of fingers. And you got it. Last time. And stop. The next thing that I want to look at is uh, strumming more times on those chord progressions. And this is what I mean. Um, we're going to do four beats on C, two, three, then four beats on F, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then I want us to strum two times in the same amount of beats. So two, Two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then after that, we will do four strums on each chord. So four on C, then four on F. All right. Get that toe tapping. One, two, four beats, go. C, back to F. Two, three, C. F. Now we're going to strum two times. Here we go. This time, we're going to go to four strums on each chord. Get ready, four. on now to doing our chord progressions from C to G7 with the same exercise. Get that toe tapping. We're going to start with four beats on C, four beats on G7. Go back and forth between those two for a while. One, two, C, go. Two, three, G7. Back to C. G7, and 
you're doing great. Alright, after this time, we're going to go to two strums on each chord. Ready? Go. Two. four strums here. Okay, let's do the same thing, but from F to G7. One, two, ready, play. Two, three, to F. G7. F. Two strums. Here we go. Two, four, one, two, three, four. Four strums here. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you what that exercise looks like on paper. So what you are looking at here is um, we have a whole note on C, and then we have a whole note on F, going to C, and then F. And remember, whole notes have four beats each. Then we go to half notes on C. So we maintain the same chord, but we're strumming two times. And then we'll move to F, strumming two times, strum two times on C, two times on F. And then we go down to the quarter notes, where we will strum four times on each chord. I want us to try to play this exercise all together with the metronome. We're going to start on C. Get that toe tapping. One, two, C. Go. Two, three, to F. Back to C. To F. Now half notes. Go. F. C. F. Now quarter notes. Next line. And stop. Good job. That was awesome. All right. So now we have the same exercise, but instead of going to F, we're now going to go to G7. So let's play this one together. We're going to start on C. One, two, whole note, go. Two, three, G7. Back to C. G7. 
seven. Now half notes. Now quarter notes go. Next line. All right, and our last exercise that we're going to look at on musical notation is between G7 and F. Same thing as before, between G7 and F. Get that toe tapping. One, two, G7, go. To F, G7. Half notes go. Quarter notes go. Last time, and stop. All right, guys, so our new song for today is Michael Finnegan. The chords for this song are C and G7. And the way that this song goes is we're going to start on C, and it goes, There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. Then it goes to G7. He had whiskers on his chin again. Then C. Poor old Michael Finnegan again again. All right. So let's get our metronome going, and then we will go ahead and play the song. Go ahead and get that toe tapping. Tap, 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 tap. One, two, ready, go. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers on his chin again. Long came the wind and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan again again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan who went fishing with a pinnegan. Caught a fish, but it fell in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew fat, then he grew thin again. Then he died and had to begin again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. And stop. All right, guys. So that is all that I have for this lesson on ukulele for you. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, concerns, or feedback at all, feel free to let us know. Until next time, keep practicing, be safe, be kind, and we'll see you at the next Ukulele for You. Okay, bye guys.